Out of YouTube, I have more Libra Boot ThinkPads now. So what we have on the right here is my first X60, um, or X61 that I bought, and I, I really enjoyed it. So you know, I decided to make a, another Libra Booted X60, but this one is that X60's uh, anorexic cousin because it is a X60 Swim. So um, there's not a huge difference in the actual size between the X60 and the X60 Swim. Um, it can be pretty much summed up as uh, this has about two rows of uh, copper right here. You know, it's, uh, it has to stick out a little bit more and that's because it's not using low voltage processors. So the normal core duo uh, generally draws about like 30 watts as a total TDP, I think. And this is like 17 watts and they run at the same gigahertz or whatever. And as you can see, much smaller heat sink, still doesn't run very hot and um, no bulge. And I actually did buy a swimline, swimline battery there, so. You know, everything's going to be nice and flat. I do have Weaver Boot on here. And I did the most uh, awful installation of Weaver Boot I think anyone has ever done. I installed it on Tricewell, which for some reason doesn't like running on this. It ran fine on there. So I installed uh, Weaver Boot through, by using like a live Tricewell USB stick on here too. So it doesn't like working with Debian for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just my luck, but when I did that on here, I, uh, well, it crashed. So after that, I actually installed it to the disk drive and it crashed again. Okay, so I made this little reenactment of installing Libreboot on a Tricycle system that has an average uptime of five minutes. Well, in all actuality, uh, it's only, if you don't make backups at all, it's uh, like one or two lines. It's actually literally one line if you don't make backups to run the flash script with Libreboot. So uh, three lines if you count extracting the files. Because when you download them, they're in tar file format. So like uh, you just extract them. You could do that on a working computer, bring them over. And even though you have a, a range somewhere between 30 seconds and 15 minutes of uptime, um, just get, just don't be unlucky. And uh, you will have a nice Weaver booted ThinkPad, even though it crashes with Triswell Linux. And I imagine I could have tried a different distribution. Maybe I could have spent more time trying to get it working on Debian, but uh, I didn't. And I did that abomination. So that was actually really stressful. But it worked, and now I have Weaver Boot on here. And I can make as many fucking tiles as I want. Oh, let's, let's move one. Oh, God. I think it might actually be lagging. Oh, man. I didn't... Even though this has the low-voltage processor, I had that one underclock itself to a uh, gigahertz once it was, like, on battery power, so... I guess maybe not underclock, but limit the clock speed. So this is a one gigahertz low voltage core duo processor. Probably has a pass mark score of a whopping 500. I bet it beats a Pentium M though. Probably a Pentium 3 too, even a desktop Pentium 3. I bet even a Pentium 4. But uh, that's kind of where I draw the line for the computer power. I need at least uh 32 bits and two cores so yeah um actually if you're wondering how it browses the web uh oh she does it quite well i don't know it's pretty much the other think bad that i i haven't noticed any performance difference between the two so if i showed browsing the web on the other one it's going to be the same as browsing the web on this one so um yeah so I guess that's about um that's about it. Uh Weber boot ThinkPad.
with the awful trice well installation. Um, it's relatively thinner. Um, oh yeah, you can put in normal X60 batteries even in this, even though the ones that you can buy for this are flatter and slimmer. And they actually, I, I think I might have gone over that. But um, yeah, exact same computer. Um, I had to buy a, uh, you know, they're both made the same way from X61s, except uh, I used an X61X60S case on this. I said it was just an X60 motherboard. And uh, if you guys would know how much this would be worth, and if there's some poor soul that would like to buy it from me, oh fuck, can I show on YouTube? Am I allowed to do that? Okay. Oh well. That's my that's my video. Have have a good one. Peace.